you guys it's me Kira T and I'm here really quick to drop a video but um real quick I found myself this week like this is how I describe my journey this is me this has been me for like the last seven months just about meaning that behind my hands is God like all I've been focused on is God all I see and, and and think about and meditate on is God but like 96 hours ago I like looked up and I didn't look up completely and not look back down but I was doing like this looking up looking down Back at God, looking up. It's like I was sharing my my mind and my my mind space and my attention. I was sharing my attention with a man that I don't even know, because I found myself noticing a man, and that might sound like real basic and just like, oh, okay, cool, whatever. But because I'm in a season where God has me hidden and God is digging, he's working on me from the inside out. God is my attention. I give God my attention, you know. And so I haven't noticed a man literally in like seven months. I have not noticed a man. Um... And I've been good with that. Like, I've been I've been so happy seeking God and getting to know God. God will fill a void like no person can. Nothing or no one can compare to who God is and what God does in your in our in our lives and in our hearts, the way He the way He makes things plain and the ugh, it's just it's overwhelming. But I don't want this video to be too long, so I'm gonna get to the point. I ended up finding for like 24 hours I was sharing my attention between God and this man. Now I noticed this man for the first time like two or three months ago. And even though I noticed him, he never took up space in my mind, in my mind. Like I never would if I if I seen him, I would notice him, but I never thought about him after the fact because I've been focused on God. Me and him ended up talking because we were in the same vicinity for about a couple of hours, um, both working, and we ended up talking. And after that one simple couple of hours, I ended up shifting my focus a little bit, just a little bit. And then I, and then it dawned on me like, wait, 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 wait. I'm not supposed to be sharing space in my brain where God is supposed to dwell in my mind and my thoughts and my heart and my attention. Nothing is supposed to have any of any of me more than God. So I ended up realizing that it was a trick of the enemy. It's almost like he wanted me to create a one-sided soul tie um, where I would be thinking about this man who I don't even know. Who I don't even know. I don't know this man. Like, even though I noticed him, I refused in any way to engage. Because I was like, I don't, I, God, okay? He, I'm here. Chill. I'm saying that to say, I, I battled with that for like one day. And I was like, am I wrong for this, God? Like, am I wrong for noticing him? Am I wrong for it? And I realized, I realized it wasn't it wasn't that I was wrong for noticing him, but I started to overstep when I started to think about him beyond the one like a, a, a an, an encounter. It's just like the enemy will literally try to get you to create a soul tie in any way. And had I not caught it, this man whom I do not know could still occupy space in my brain. I haven't thought about it in like a day. So, and this was like two days ago. So I, it's like. I noticed them, and then the next day, and I noticed them, and we conversed, and then the next day, I, I still noticed them. It was probably about an 18 to 24-hour window, and I was like, wait. No, it was probably 24 hours, because I slept for probably, I'm sure, seven to eight hours. I was like, wait, wait, wait. Something is off. 
the, I, I can't give, I can't share my attention. That's the point I'm making. I can't share my attention. My attention belongs to God. And that, that's the, that's the revelation that I ended up getting from that situation. But man, when I tell you, um, it all, it all, it also made me go to God and be like, there's nothing wrong with me desiring companionship. There's nothing wrong with me desiring that. There's nothing wrong with me desiring to be married at some point in my life, with me desiring to have children with the right man at some point in my life. There's nothing wrong with none of that, but I know this not the season for it. This is not the season for it. God is dealing with me in way too many areas. God is working on me. And in no way do I expect that God is going to make me completely perfect and scrub me completely re clean, renewed across the board. And I'll never, I'll never sin again. Like that'll never happen. But I just, that experience showed me that I was not ready. It confirmed that I still got a long way to go. And I don't expect God to, like I said, make me perfect, make me completely clean, make me completely blemish free. And then he'll get send me my husband. I don't, this isn't a work based act. This is a heart. This is a heart posture situation. This is a heart posture situation. Just like our relationship with God is a heart posture situation. Um, it's a heart, it's a heart based relationship. God knows our hearts. He sees our hearts. And so that situation just showed me that. I hadn't looked up because there was nothing that I seen that was even really desirable to look up at. And when I say that, it don't matter how nice a man look. It don't matter how clean he look, how nice his clothes are. At this point, and I'm going to say this boldly, if you worldly, I am not attracted to you as a man. If you're worldly, meaning you just, you, you, you definitely indulge in the ways of the world and um, and I'm not judging those things, but I'm not attracted to those things. I'm making a very clear distinction. I'm not attracted to men that are worldly, men who love the world, who want to please the world, who live for the world, who want to have the possessions of the world. That, that's, that's, that's the furthest thing from attractive to me. So I haven't seen, and, and a lot of guys are worldly, no offense, but most guys are worldly. So when I seen this guy, I'll say that I noticed he was not worldly. It was a spiritual thing that I sensed in him. But all of that to say, I realized I ain't ready to date because of the way I handled that situation. And even though I caught myself and I was like, I don't have to be perfect. This is a, this is a slip up. I'm still learning. I'm still growing. I'm still seeking God. There's nothing perfect about it. There will never be anything perfect about it. But it did show me like, you're not ready. Even though I snapped back in the day, I was proud of that. Because otherwise, I would have just let my imagination run wild. And it's like, go ahead and get that imagination. You know, the Bible says cast out imaginations. That's one of the ways I ended up getting over it. Um, cast out it, imaginations, I think, in anything that exhausts itself. And I literally ended up Googling, how do I make my mind submit to God? You're going to submit to God. You're going to submit to God. <laughs> like, I was not playing. I was like, I'm not going to be defeated. I'm not going to be defeated. I will not accept defeat with this and I haven't thought about it I, don't, I, don't, I could care less now it's like it was like a, it was almost like it was trying to build something in me and with the with the with the grace of God and the, the the gift and the blessing of the Holy Spirit I cast it down and it died like it's so as quickly as it came as practically as soon as it left but um I caught myself being attracted to somebody or not even attracted to him I don't know him like that to be attracted to him or to like him all of those things are immature um I just noticed someone and in me noticing someone, I automatically got revelation that I was not ready. Sit down, hun. Sit down. So, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Really just trying to want to be partially or be, be committed to uploading somewhat regularly. Not for views. I don't do this for that. I do this. Um, it's building, like, discipline. And it's building um, commitment and consistency in me, which is definitely something I've struggled with. Um, and endurance. So I um, did want to upload something so that I'm still, you know, being committed to the page. But I'm going on vacation in about a week. I actually literally leave in a week. This same time next week, I'll be on a plane. And so I'm super pumped. I'll definitely be cranking out videos um, while I'm away. I'll be gone from the 4th through the 11th, so a week. But um, that's all I got. And I want this video to be under 10 minutes. So I'm going to go. If you watch to the end, God bless you and thank you. That's all I got. Bye.